Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Tabitha Jane. And I wanted to share with you, I had mentioned in one of my other videos that I would share with you a little bit about my understanding about astrology, the zodiac signs, the houses, um, the relevancy. Now, what I'm going to share with you is based on my own personal perception and belief. Take it, take what resonates, release what doesn't. Um, but this is one of the reasons why I haven't, I, I don't do like a whole lot of Zodiac um, specific energy readings when I'm doing my tarot because we're all made up of all of it. And the other purpose of me sharing this with you is because we are made up of all of it. Different parts of your astrological uh, makeup can have different levels of relevancy to you. So let me share this with you. When you're watching these readings and you're looking for insight and clarity to different areas of your life, hopefully y'all can see this okay. Sorry for the glare. And yeah. Let me see if I can maneuver myself in such a manner. We're, we're, we've got 12 different houses. And I will leave a, a link in the description for a website I use. It's free. I'm not affiliated. I just, I like them. There are, there are a couple and um, I like them. So I will share that information with all of you. But essentially, this is, this is my astrological, um, shoot, going brain dead here. Anyways, this is when I was born. All right. So I'm a Gemini. My son, my, my son ascendant is in Gemini. So this is my first house. Your first house, let me get around. Teacher Tab here. Teacher Tab. I got a cramp in my foot. That sucks. Okay, your first house um, basically is first. It's your first impressions. Yourself and your appearance, your leadership, your beginnings, your rising sign, or your ascendant. And this is basically your sun sign. But then your second house your second house is all that matters related to immediate or physical environment. Also rules income, money, self-esteem. My second house is ruled by cancer. In my second house, I have Mercury, Venus retrograde, Mars, and my south node re retrograde. All of that is relevant. When we are asking, when we're actively searching for these different various forms of divination, and trying to get a better understanding of the areas of our life, it's not just our sun sign that matters. If I want to know more about what is going on with my, imme my immediate or physical environment, if I want to understand better what's going on in regards to my finances, money, self-esteem, I need to be looking at my second house, Cancer follow okay third house is about communication talking thinking gadgets devices siblings neighbors um local okay i can't read my own handwriting <laughs> library school community affairs so this is about outside of ourselves my third house is leo i have no other energies in leo but Leo is going to be significant. That passion, that fire, strength, strength. When it comes to communicating outside of myself, communicating with others, communicating with siblings and, you know, so again, those, those signs, those inspiration, those, those readings, they're relevant. If you're looking for guidance and assistance, in 
communication outside of your own immediate physical contact. The fourth house is your foundation, your home, privacy, basic security, parents, especially your mother, children, your mothering abilities, nurturing TLC. And for me, my fourth house is in Virgo. Now I've got Pluto right there on the cusp. For me, Pluto's on the cusp between my fourth house and my fifth house. So between my foundation and fa my fifth house, which is about self-expression, drama, creativity, color, attention, romance, fun and play. Pluto is right there between Virgo and Libra. So you guys, are you, are you kind of starting getting the message? When you're actively searching, it's not just your sun sign. It's not just your moon. It's not just your rising. Like all of mine are in Gemini. Sun, moon, rising. The only thing, Venus is in Cancer. All of mine are right there. But if that's all I chose to listen to, that's all I chose to watch, I would be so limiting myself. 10 other houses full of information, of inspiration, of insights, I would be totally ignorant to. So my point is, I encourage you to find out when, get your birth chart with your date, you know, make yourself a diagram, whatever works for you. Go through the different houses, the areas that you want to work on, that you want to better understand, you want more insight and clarity to. Those are the readings, the signs to focus on. Yeah, your sun rising, you know, your sun, your ascendant, that will give you the first impression, but it's first impression that doesn't go deep. You know, if you want to know about your friendships and society, what's going on, um, how can you be more original? What surprises are coming towards you? That's your 11th house. For me, my 11th house is Aries. And I've got Chiron in there. All of this plays together. So this is, again, I, I've been trying to learn more about astrology, probably about the last nine months. Far from an expert, okay? So I nowhere near feeling accomplished enough to give you insight at that level. But this is a tool, a resource I use for myself to help educate myself along with the tarot. And you know, when I watch the different horoscope readings and I'm starting to do more of those myself, but these are the aspects, the elements, and, and this is mine. I mean, th this is based on my birth. And by the way, I don't know the time I was born. I really don't. My mother doesn't remember. The hospital doesn't have the information. And I do not have the time or the bandwidth to, I mean, yeah, they said if I sent them money and, and I did all these other things, I just don't, I haven't had the time to do that. So... I looked at, I, I know the day I was born, obviously, and the year I was born, and I looked at the different points in time when the planets were aligned, and I found what felt, what resonated most with me, with my personality, with my inclinations. So that's the time I've gone with, and that's what this chart is based on. Now... Again, I'm a student. I'm far, far, far from an expert. 
I'm sharing with you how I'm learning and how I'm taking this information and applying it to try to help improve my life, maybe that's something that would be of help and benefit to you. So, yeah, there's some digging, there's some research. I will leave um, links in the comments. There'll be a pinned comment with some different websites that I have found really helpful and completely free. And again, I'm not affiliated in any way, shape, or form. It's just a matter of, I like them. And if you got, if you have some, if you're into astrology and you've been learning and you got some resources you want to share, please do. I mean, let's help each other grow together. Okay? But I know I had talked about this in another video. And I just, I wanted to share with you. I mean, this is, this is part of the way I'm educating myself. And then... You know, as I listen to others who speak about what's going on astrologically, I write down, you know, like our new moon is on the 15th in Scorpio. And, you know, I, I take their messages and I listen. And then I apply my own intuition and my own experiences. Because these energies, I feel very strong. I'm a very sensitive person. I'm an empath. And, you know, I intuitively, I know things. But I also really strongly feel the different energies. And so as I listen, I learn, I grow. But I also allow my intuition to guide me so that I can kind of shape and mold my own truth out of everything anyways so yes I will be doing individual zodiac sign readings for the new moon in Scorpio and um, I'll start working on those probably tomorrow but again look at look at your astrological chart based on the day you were born and time if you know it even better Look at your houses. Look at the what, what each house represents. And look what sign rules that house. And what planet is in that house. How does that correlate? And I would encourage you as you're listening to various divination readings. That you go beyond just your sun or ascendant sign because the different signs are going to impact and give you clarity on the different areas of your life where, where are you facing challenges and where do you want to grow more and how do you grow there are clues clues for you everywhere if you choose to expand your mind do a little bit of work but if you're here with me right now you're on the spiritual path anyways so you're used to doing the work <laughs> let's just get real and do the work you know give yourself that gift so anyways I hope this is helpful I hope this gave you a little spark of insight a new way to look at things and perceive things and if you've enjoyed this please leave me a thumbs up, a like, give me a comment, some feedback. I would love to hear what else would you guys like to know about. I mean, I'm learning all the time. I just don't always know what to share. And uh, if you want to support the channel, it doesn't cost you a thing, please subscribe and um, hit that bell notification. You'll know when I'm releasing videos, which I'm trying to do on the daily sometimes multiple times a day and live videos are coming up by the way check out the other video i shared earlier um talk with tab new segment i want to add to the channel because i really want to give and help others and there will be a live reading 
Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, answering questions just from the heart, intuition, experience, love. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this has been helpful and maybe give you a little bit of jump start into your own um, edu education of astrology or I'm, I'm, I'd love to hear what you have been doing and what experiences you've had, what your, what your um, resources are. That would be super cool. So I'd love to have us be able to get to a place where we can exchange ideas and support each other. That would be amazing. All right. I'm going to let you go. Sign off for this evening. And um, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.